Hey guys, it's Rody with Otter Creek Kennel. Um, I said a while back that I was going to do a demonstration on all my uh, hunting gear that I take out and all of that. And I'm also going to make another video today of my um, new uh, English Coonhound um, Copper. But uh, first, whew, I'm going to show you my uh, Garmin Alpha 100. Um, I just got this a couple days ago. And, uh, this is the map on it, Copper's, I don't know why it's showing all that, but that's not what it looks like on here. I think it's just my fan. But, um, all that, that little green, all these green lines I had on my little pup, Copper, today. He was running around in the yard, and I was letting him play. But, uh, that's Corman Alpha 100 there. And I got my compass, showed Copper. Which I when I go hunting I li usually leave it on my dog Renegade because he's my tree dog right now. Um, my dog Copper. I'm get, I'm ordering a uh, T5 collar for him. So here I'm gonna put in uh, my dog's name Renegade or his name's Renegade but I call him Blue Dog. So I'm just gonna put his name is uh blue dog is a blue tick so that's what i call him is blue dog <clears throat> and then i just press okay and you can change what color you want his trail or his track thing to look like and uh, of course it's not connected right now so i don't have a reason to have it connected right now but it's just like that and then uh, go on here and usually when they're quite a bit out it says a I don't know if you can see it but it says a hundred yards up in the top right corner and I usually keep it at that but when they're when I really want to look at them I can zoom in like this but um you can switch it to all kinds of different things but <clears throat> that's another thing I might make a little series on um if you all have this and you're having any trouble with figuring out anything really on it with it, just comment below or um, DM me on Instagram and I'll make a video on all this. Anything that you all think is you can't figure out, just say it and I'll figure it out because I had quite a bit of trouble figuring this thing out for a couple of days. Because when I first got it, um, I probably set. Because you have to update and a bunch of different things when you first get it. Or you, you had to download this thing on your computer and update it and whatnot. And um, I uh, had to get on there and I couldn't figure out how to get the map set to where I was at. Because we're in the United States. And what happened was I got on there and it said I was in like North Korea or something like that. and uh, Or somewhere... Japanese, whatever, somewhere around there, and I couldn't figure out where I was at. Well, all I had to do, which I'm not going to do it now as it might mess it up right now. All I had to do, though, is go to, I think, set up here, and then yeah, you go down. Well, no, it's actually just right here, and then it, I think it's all the way at the bottom. Yeah, you go press satellite, and, uh, you give it probably about 10 minutes and it'll connect to all the satellites and then it'll go right to where you're at like I said it's shows it went to exactly where I was at and it kind of scared me for a little bit because I couldn't figure out where it was showing that I was at and uh, it's kind of scaring me a little bit but uh you can zoom out like that and look at all the rivers and creeks and whatnot you want to look at. All the terrain. Um, you can get a card, though, that slides just right in the back, and it makes the maps better. I'm going to get one of them eventually. I just haven't got around to it yet. But this thing is really handy. It makes hunting ten times better. You're not worried about where your dog's at. Just makes it a lot easier. 
And then, um, I would have just got the Garmin Alpha and the, um, right with the bundle, but the bundle, um, it was a track and train, so it had a shock collar on the, uh, or had, um, shocking prongs on the collar. Can't use the collar, that kind of collar in the competition hunts, because I already asked a bunch of people who, um, some people I know own some coon clubs, and they said you can't use those in competitions. So I just figured, you know, I have an older dog. I might as well get this collar that doesn't have no prongs. So he's already trained. He don't need to be trained anymore. And uh, so I just went ahead and got this for the exact same price. I just had to order them separately. Um, this collar alone was $250. This alone was $600. Um, adding it up, it's about... I think the bundle with the track and train is like $50 cheaper, but I really needed something I needed in competition hunts because I'm, I do quite a bit in competition hunts and uh, I need to have stuff for that because I need to my dogs up all the time. So, but I am going to order, I might order a, or I'm going to order a, another T5 color like this for my Garmin, for my pup. But, uh, yeah, so that's the thing there. I wonder if I can show you all the how it lights up, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Don't get too dependent on it. So I might not be able to. Uh, just color light. Yeah. So that's just like the uh, the little um, beam that you can order from Sport Dog, but it's already built into the collar. You can put continuous, or it just sits like that. And it's not that hard. You can get it right here. You can put on blink slow. But the whole point of that is if your dog's kind of jacking around or something and they're going into a highway or something, you can turn that on where it's continuous blinking. Or you can, if you put on continuous, it'll stay light up the whole time. Put it on blink fast, it'll doom, doom, doom. So hopefully a car that's driving by will stop. So. They don't freaking hatch your dog. That would be bad. But yeah, this is the Garmin T5 collar right here. But it comes with extra antennas and everything else. <clears throat> and then another thing. I did a video on this while back. But I mean, it's part of my gear. So I might as well put it on here. It's just the Boss Coon Squaller. It's um, all aluminum, double reed. Pretty neat um, squalor. And it's got the um, neck thing here so you don't lose it or nothing. And then uh, I don't think I did a video on this. This is my gold eyes. Um, not gold eyes. This is my uh, bright eyes gold fever that I ordered. I think it was $325. And, um, but it's got a, a big beam on it. It's got the wa walk light. It's got the green light here. Here. It's got the green light, amber, um, red, and then it's got the LED. And then this is a spotlight for it. And get, it looks a lot brighter at night, trust me. There. But I usually keep it on the green. Because it green it'll kind of keep the bugs out of your face more and it's brighter um the amber it's good to um spot coons with because they look at you a little bit more i think but yeah it, it's got i think one two three four four clicks on it and then four clicks back one two three four Yep. But yeah. 
this has helped me out in so many ways. I've been able to spot so many coons with this thing more than I have been before. And I've also got this <clears throat> Remington, uh, I think it's a yeah, 597 model. Um, just a regular 22. Um, I had a scope on it, but I took scope off. So I'm pretty good at knocking my sights off on my scope. But it's a semi-automatic. I don't have my clip in, so I don't keep my clips in the house. <clears throat> but, uh, that kind of sums it up for all the stuff that I've got right now. Um, pretty much everything I need besides, I don't know, maybe a couple more things, but... Um, I'm gonna here in a minute. I'm gonna go outside and make a video on my new dog Copper. I'll upload it so y'all can um, meet him on there and everything else. So, thanks for stopping in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.